This MT is the land-based air defense system based on the Astea 30, one of the best surface-to-air missiles in the Western world. Currently, it is being baptized with fire in Ukraine. This war will show us if it's as successful as it is on paper. Before the truth reveals itself, let's try to anticipate what might happen in the future. As the weapon detective, we're now investigating this MT with its advantages and weaknesses. This MT is an effective air defense system against various air threats such as aircraft, tactical ballistic missiles, standoff missiles, cruise missiles or anti-radiation missiles. It is among the best in its class, at least on paper. The system now has the chance to prove itself in combat conditions. This system is known by many names which are all abbreviations. The SAMT comes from the initials of Solaire Moyen Poti Terrestre, French for surface to air medium range land based. Some sources named it as FSF SAMT. The FSF is the abbreviation of Famille de Solaire Futur meaning future surface-to-air family. The French army calls the system Samti Mamba. The name Mamba refers to a fast-moving and highly venomous snake species. But it is also an abbreviation. It comes from the initials of Moya de Défense Antimissile Ballistique et Aérobie, which can roughly be translated as Ballistic and Agile Anti-Missile Defense. The missile of the Samti, the Aster 30, also takes its name from an acronym that came from Aerospatial Terminal. The French company Aerospatial was the project's lead contractor before its missile activities were merged into MBDA. Terminal can be roughly translated as the final point or the latest. Before analyzing this MT, let's briefly look at its history and features. In the early 1980s, France and Italy began to seek a more advanced new air defense missile to replace the Cotal, Aspide, RIM-7 Sea Sparrow and RIM-66 SM-1s in their inventories. So, these two countries decided to work jointly. Initially, they focused on a ship-based short-to-medium-range missile, effective against aircraft and cruise missiles, which led to the development of Aster-15. However, the US airstrike on Libya on April 15, 1986 caused a change in the perspective. After this bombing, also known as Operation Eldorado Canyon, Libya performed a retaliation attack on NATO's navigation station on the Italian Lampedusa island with two scuds. Even though they missed the target, France and Italy realized that their anti-ballistic missile defense capabilities were critically insufficient, which led to the development of Aster 30. So, the SAMT program, the land-based variant of the Aster 30, began in 1989. In those years, the UK decided to join the partnership for the ship-based variant of the Aster 30 rather than the land-based version. So, France and Italy signed an agreement to continue alone to develop the SAMT in 1997. Six years later, they approved the acquisition of the system. The trials began in 2005 and continued until 2010. The first operational SAMT battery was delivered to France in 2010. Currently, two variants of the Aster 30 are operational. The Block 1 version is effective against ballistic missiles with a range of up to 600 km. The Block 1 and T variant can intercept a ballistic missile with a range of up to 1,500 km. The letters N and T are the initials of the words new technology. Besides, MBDA is working on the Aster 30 Block 2 version, which will be effective against highly maneuverable ballistic missiles with a range of up to 3,000 km. The company also studied the more extended range Aster 45 and Aster 60 missiles, but these projects were not realized. The active radar guided Aster 30 launchers can be mounted on different tracks. For example, the French and Italian armies have preferred the 8x8 Renault TRM-10000 and 8x8 Iveco Astra ACTL HD8 SM8845 respectively. The export variants of the SAMT are mounted on the Rheinmetall MAN military vehicles 8x8 TG series trucks. These firing units have high off-road capability 
and are air transportable by C-130 and A-400M class aircraft. Thanks to its high level of interoperability and capability for integration with a distributed architecture, the SAMT offers flexibility in operation. A typical SAMT battery includes a command and control vehicle, one radar vehicle, and four to six firing units. The X-Band Arabel 3D multifunction radar has a range of 60 kilometers and can track 100 targets simultaneously. During the surveillance mode, the operations of the Arabel are coordinated under EM control, which provides the most effective surveillance coverage. The radar has 360 degrees horizontal and minus 5 to plus 90 degrees vertical coverage. All information acquired by the Arabel can be shared with higher level headquarters. The air defense system can be integrated with other radars and sensors which extend the target detection range to 120 km. The setup time for a firing unit is 15 minutes. Each launcher vehicle can be deployed as far as 10 km from the radar vehicle. The fire control computer classifies and prioritizes the possible targets based on different criteria such as firing procedures, threatening track urgency and interception rules. This feature significantly reduces the workload, reaction time and number of required personnel. Each firing unit can prepare up to two ASTEF-30s simultaneously. The launching operation can be executed from the Battery Command and Control Center or higher level headquarters. The reaction time of the SAMT is less than 10 seconds. A firing unit can send two missiles toward a target in less than one second. Yet, a full salvo of eight missiles requires 10 seconds. The two-stage ASTEL-30 is launched vertically via a solid propellant booster, which provides 360-degree attack coverage. After the launch, the booster separates from the missile's dart within a few seconds. This dart is also equipped with a sustainer motor, a proximity fuse, and a focused fragmentation warhead that is effective even against the most hardened targets. It combines conventional aerodynamic control with a direct thrust control system that uses gas jets acting on the interceptor's center of gravity. So, the dart can perform up to 60G maneuvers. Even though the Astel 30 has a more extended flight range, it has an effective range of 25 to 30 km against guided missiles and 70 to 100 km against aircraft. When the focused fragmentation warhead is activated, it creates a 2 meter lethal radius. Thanks to its ability to conduct 10 to 12 simultaneous engagements with up to 16 to 24 missiles simultaneously in flight, a SAMT battery can successfully deal with heavy saturation attacks. France, Italy, Singapore, and Ukraine are the current users of the SAMT. Even though Turkey signed a contract for the acquisition of the SAMT in 2018, the program was put on hold one year later due to the military intervention of the Turkish army in the Syrian civil war. Still, the parties have continued the negotiations. The Astaq 30 has a length of 4.9 meters, a diameter of 180 millimeters, and a weight of 450 kilograms. The missile's focused fragmented warhead with a calculated delay proximity fuse weighs 15 kilograms. Its range is 120 kilometers and 150 kilometers for the Block 1 and Block 1 NT variants, respectively. The effective altitude of the Astea 30 is 20,000 meters, in other words, over 65,600 feet. Its speed is Mach 4.5. Why France and Italy developed the new missile instead of acquiring the Patriot as many NATO members did? Introduced into the service in 1976, the MIM 104A was just an anti aircraft weapon. Even though the USA introduced the PAC-1 variant, which was an MIM-104A with updated software, the Patriot still had insufficient anti-ballistic missile capability. The real ballistic missile hunter of the family, the PAC-2, was introduced in 1983. So, a joint European missile program had a great chance in the international market. Besides, the PAC-2 had many disadvantages inherited from the previous design philosophy for air defense missiles. The launchers of the Patriot had to be deployed toward the possible course of the incoming threats. So, they couldn't provide 360-degree coverage. 
Yes, the Pac-2 made a name for itself during the 1991 Gulf War by intercepting 41 of 42 Scuds fired by the Iraqis. However, the success of this missile in this war is still debatable because the US Army performed a full battery salvo for each Scud to achieve this success. The Pac-2, which was a modified variant of an anti-aircraft missile, was designed for long-range engagements. The US planners had planned to hit the target from over 100 km range. But like its other counterparts, after 40 to 60 km, the effectiveness of the Pac-2 against ballistic missiles was decreasing geometrically. So the Western world needed a more capable missile. Even the USA developed the Pac-3 variant. Initially, the SAMT had great potential. But like many other joint European projects, the development process of the Aster was too slow, which also caused high costs. And the First Cold War ended. Many countries naturally preferred the Patriot because it was an available, low-cost and combat-proven system. So, even though many navies preferred its ship-based version, the land-based variant of the Aster could not achieve as big of a marketing success as it was expected. Still, the Aster 30 is a more effective anti-ballistic missile system on paper than its US rival. The following days of the current Russo-Ukraine war will show us if this claim is true or false. On January 27, 2023, France and Italy announced that they would give Ukraine four SAMT firing units and 700 Aster 30s. One month later, the training of the Ukrainian crew began and the first SAMT was delivered on May 15, 2023. Currently, there is no reliable information about the performance of the system in Ukraine. The Ukrainian SAMTs are integrated with the S-Band GM-200 with a surveillance range of 250 km. This radar can engage a target from up to 100 km distance. So, the GM-200 enhances the effectiveness of the SAMT. The vertical-launched Aster 30s will give 360-degree coverage, a capability that the Patriot does not have. So the SAMT will provide better tactical deployment. With its high kill ratio, the Aster will intercept Russian air attacks conducted by ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, drones and aircraft. But each advantage also brings a disadvantage. The high cost of the SAMT are still a significant handicap. Russia has acquired Iranian-made low-cost drones for kamikaze attacks. Indeed, a fighter jet, helicopter, ballistic missile or cruise missile might be worth spending an Aster 30. But 700 Aster 30s will be more expensive than 1,000 Iranian kamikaze drones. 40 years ago, governments could sacrifice a part of the population considering economic reasons. Let's think about a citizen whose house or family is a victim of a cheap kamikaze drone. Today, no official can say that they were not worth it economically. For this reason, it should not be ignored that the SAMT might become an element that can damage the motivation of the Ukrainian people or that there are also risks to bringing a terrific economic dilemma. Nevertheless, the SAMT will play an essential role in the war in Ukraine. Some brilliant achievements can help it reach a bigger market. Also, the possible successes of the SAMT can lead to the birth of a new generation by changing the perceptions of land-based defense missile systems. So, we may say that the SAMT and Aster 30 await on the brink of a future that has not yet been shaped. Thanks for watching our video. And please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.